Well, Google AI Edge Gallery app is now available via Google Play Store. And in case you didn't know, this app allows you to run some models like Gemma, Llama, Gwen, DeepSeek, and many others directly on your Android phone. So it is going to be completely offline and private because there's no data being collected. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this new app from Google to run some open source AI models directly on your Android phone. And here's how you can do it. First, you have to open your Android phone, obviously. And after that, let's navigate to Google Play Store and tap search. And then you can search using the keyword Google AI Edge Gallery. And after that, you can tap install and just wait for the app to be installed. Now, if you have been using the GitHub version of this app, then you have to uninstall that version first and you have to install the new one from Play Store because the GitHub version is no longer uh, supported. And also this one is actually is going to be supported and more optimized from Google. Now after that, just tap open and just read the agreement and then click accept and continue. And there you go. So there are some options like as image, audio scribe, from lab and AI chat. But for this video, I'll just focus on AI chat because this is probably the, the most popular way to uh, work with AI, which is by chatting. And here you'll see some recommendations of models that you could download and operate on your phone. And it is actually a, a decent option, but there are many other models that you can download and install on or via Google AI Edge Gallery. So if you don't want to use any of these models that were recommended from Google, you can go back to the homepage and then click Light RT Community. So this is a community that dedicate themselves to convert some popular models from, from DeepSeek, uh, you know, Llama, Gemma, and many others into the format that is compatible with Google AI Edge Gallery. Now, in this case, I want to download the other version of Gemma. So I'm going to click Gemma Family and I'll use the model with only 1 billion parameters. So Gemma 3, 1 billion parameter, IT stands for instruction. So let me select that. And after that, tap files. Again, you can use other models like from Dipsy, Quen, Llama, and many others. In this example, I'm just using Gemma because I'm familiar with that model. Now, uh, usually you'll see models with different variations, like it's going to take forever for me to explain everything about the differences between these variations but usually usually the model you probably just need to look at the number of parameter and ask the size of the model or i would say the size itself is usually kind of dictate the parameter of the model and i do recommend in, in general is download the model that is no more than the size of the memory or RAM on your Android phone. So my phone, I'm using Pixel 3 and it only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. And therefore, at least for me, I have to use the model that is less than 4 gigabytes of RAM. Ideally, maybe just one or two gigabytes. Now, there are plenty of other options. So I'll just select the one that I have tried before. Now, uh, I do recommend to filter the result. So you can tap this search icon and then type, uh, sorry, and then type dot T A S K. So that's a format that is compatible with Google AI Edge Gallery. And as you can see, there is plenty of options. And honestly, this will take forever for me to explain everything about the differences between these models. But you know what? I'll just select randomly, maybe, you know, using this one. And just uh, tap download and wait for the model to be downloaded. So I'm going to click download and just wait. And after that, I'll show you the next step that you can do to install this model to your Android phone. Okay, so the model has been downloaded. I'm going to go back to Google Air Edge Gallery. And then to install a model from an external source, you can tap this plus button. Click from local model file. And uh, I'm going to navigate to the download folder on, a, on my phone. And I'll select the model, which is Gemma 3 with 1 billion parameter to be used or to be installed into a Google AI Edge Gallery app. Now, uh, most of the times you can ignore these settings. And for the super image and super audio, I'm not going to enable that because the model is actually not a multimodal. So there's no need for that to enable that options. Now, I do recommend to enable both CPU and GPU because some models or some phones might can only use 
CPU, either CPU or GPU when, run, when running certain AI models. And after that, type import and just wait for the model to be added into this app. There you go. So uh, the model has been imported. Now you can navigate to AI chat. And I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, this is the model that I just downloaded from Hugging Face. So I'm going to open it and just wait for the model to be initialized this is just trying to load the model so it can be used and this process will take several seconds depending on the size of the model and also the specification of your phone now i'm going to just send a simple greeting message to this ai tool hi there send the message and just wait okay the model is running on my cpu and that's why initially i said that it's recommended to enable both cpu and gpu because it's AI will try to choose the one that is compatible with your phone and in this case my phone is very old i'm using pixel 3 xl from i don't know seven years ago so it's still only able to run the model via cpu but at least it is running even though it's very very slow so that's essentially how you can uh, download the google ai edge gallery via google play store and how you can run an open source AI model on your android phone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day